Welcome to the channel. I'm Tony the Technician, and today we're going to be going into, just like the thumbnail shows, the newly released Quinn Ratchet. It is a 90 tooth design with a comfort grip, which I am very pleased with. I'm glad Quinn went that route much better than their big, bulky, generic ratchet that they had before. This is a much better option, and I think it's going to be a very popular option. So the reason we're doing this is because when Harbor Freight first released the Quinn Ratchet on the website, you could see it underneath the new tools. It looked very similar. So that is why we're going to be comparing it to my Gear Wrench 90 Tooth Comfort Grip Ratchet. We're going to see what the similarities are, what the differences are, both external and internal. We'll see if it's worth the money. Once again, Quinn is very price friendly. If you're trying to step up from Pittsburgh, but maybe not quite go to Icon, if you're just shopping Harbor Freight, these new Quinn Ratchets may be a really good option. So let's go ahead, dig into the dimensions, the pricing, the specs, the features, all of that good stuff. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to drop it down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer it. Other than that, if you guys enjoy the video, make sure to smash that thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Let's get into this. Okay, so here we're looking at the new Quinn 90 tooth ratchet. This is available in quarter inch, three eighths and half inch drive. When they first released it, it was the quarter inch and half inch, I believe. And then it took like another couple weeks for them to come out with the three eighths. But we got the three eighths here and it came in packaging like this. And I want to state this before we get started, um, which really kind of worried me, but I guess we'll find out in the future. So basically this thing is connected to this piece of plastic via this plastic clip here and it's pushed all the way on. And normally I just take a screwdriver, put it between there, pop it off, it's good to go. I put a screwdriver in there and when I popped it off, it popped everything off, like the backing plate, the clip, the whole main gear, it all came out. Uh, so the clip wasn't doing a very good job. Maybe it wasn't seated correctly, I don't know, but it all came apart when I popped that off. I did notice there's normally a little bit of back and forth movement, as you can see here, um, but it, it does feel like it has just a little bit more. It could just be my mind playing tricks on me since it popped apart. Now there's definitely more movement in this one forward and back than there is the gear wrench. But the reason we're doing this video is because when they first released this, a lot of people realized how similar these ratchets look, and that's justifiable. Uh, they clearly look very, very similar, and let's be honest, I'll, it doesn't matter if you're part of Apex or if you're your own tool brand or so many of these companies are buying tools from the same handful of factories. Uh, now, when you select uh when these companies select this factory they select the tools that they want from this factory they're given an option you know uh here's the designs that we have you can alter this and this you can do your own laser engraving or etching or stamping uh it all depends and that's where the tools vary and then depending on you know the price will depend on how much effort kind of goes into the tool so there are plenty of ratchets that come from the same factory that don't look like these but like you can see here these are very very similar so let's go ahead and get into it so just looking at the two ratchets the heads same shape now I will say with the gear wrench you kind of have this beveled edge which it's a little bit less pronounced now than on some of their older ratchets like my 120 XP you can see that taper it's got the taper comes further in to the head of the ratchet and here it's kind of tucked closer to the edge sorry it's kind of hard to see whereas you can still see it quite a bit it comes up quite a bit further on the quinn which actually i like that look that's purely cosmetic you know it's just for appearance now one thing i'm trying to get the light on it if you look at the gear wrench one thing I noticed when I first got them is that you can actually see dimpling in it. I don't know if it's because of how thin the metal was trimmed down on the inside there, but 
you don't see that I think it's going to be a little bit thicker the back of this head is a little bit thicker than the gear wrench but that is one of the first things I noticed on the, the gear wrench. Is and that when it just comes to looking at the ratchets before we get into measurements and weight and all of that, both of them are on in this direction, off in the other direction. The only thing different here is gear wrench has just kind of added those detailed lines underneath the switch. And then coming down here, you have the same kind of flat surface here before it goes into the actual shaft of the ratchet so overall very similar head designs just this beveled edge being a little bit different a little bit more pronounced on the Quinn then when you get to the base where it actually enters the comfort grip handle this is going to be a little bit smoother of a transition this is more of a rounded edge where this is a little bit sharper of a, a cut where it meets the handle I can actually feel the lip of the comfort grip handle on the gear wrench where the Quinn actually does a very smooth transition into the handle as you can see there the lip on the gear wrench not a big deal I will say that the comfort grip on the Quinn is a little bit bigger than the gear wrench which depending on the size of your hands may be something that you prefer I like the gear wrench handle it's comfortable but I just I feel like the Quinn is actually more appropriate for especially if you have larger hands the gear wrench when you look at the handles they both have that indentation for your hand you can see it it's more pronounced on the gear wrench here where your fingers wrap around you do have that on the Quinn there but it's not quite as pronounced so I feel like the the Quinn handle is actually more comfortable than the gear wrench the gear wrench one also has a very noticeable graduation down here whereas you kind of have that here but it's much much less aggressive a much softer taper and uh, overall I think the Quinn is a more comfortable handle the one thing I don't like about the Quinn handle it is dual material both of them are the orange is plastic black is rubber blue is plastic black is rubber the only thing I don't like about the Quinn is the plastic here I constantly just in the couple days that I've had this my finger slips on that it's just doesn't affect it obviously not a big deal so overall very similar very very close as far as length we'll get into that but you can see the Quinn is just a hair longer the tool itself is probably the same length it's just the Quinn has a larger handle on it in both length and in diameter Here you can see the backing plates they are the same design they use the same clip same size here well actually I think it'll be a good idea if we can see if we can actually swap these two uh, poles and backing plates just to see if they do switch so let's go ahead and break these down the gear wrench does have a little bit more of a material on it than the, than the Quinn so maybe it does a little bit jo better job I'm not sure how well that's gonna pick up just slightly larger there and see how beautiful the gear wrench is it definitely needs a little bit of love I haven't cleaned it in a while let's go ahead and take the ball out here you can see a little bit of a difference in the reverse switch you have that machine cut right there let's go ahead and take a measurement actually instead of measuring let's just go ahead and see if I can get let's take a look at these one here is gear wrench and Quinn besides the gear wrench just having some wear on it they are identical as far as the poles see about teeth the teeth are the same as well gear wrench Quinn let's go ahead and take the Quinn and place it into the gear wrench And the backing plate so the Quinn internals do fit into the gear wrench shoot the gear wrench actually feels better now uh, maybe it's because my gear wrench internals need cleaned 
but uh, I should have done a sound test before the gear wrench sounded a little bit more tinny than the than the Quinn and that could have been because it needs cleaned and lubricated but no issues on that end let's go ahead and put the gear wrench internals into the Quinn and then we'll go ahead and take a look and then we'll take them back apart and we will measure the internals real quick just really did not want to sit in there you can hear and the gear wrench works in the Quinn I definitely think the the snap rings are a little bit different you can see here the Quinn one the difference isn't necessarily the internals the difference is the material that they've removed inside of the gear wrench I think they like I said it has a thinner wall here that's why you can see the indentation in the ratchet uh, because I can spin this clip whereas on the Quinn this is extremely snug so I think the difference is the material that they've removed in the gear wrench compared to the Quinn but keep note that if you have a gear wrench and something happens if you don't want to wait on a rebuild kit or anything like that you could very well just go buy a Quinn ratchet and use it or you could swap the internals into it if you really wanted to so this is the Quinn stuff so let's go ahead and take a look at the main gear this is the one from the Quinn there is a little rubber o-ring here the gear wrench you're going to have the same thing a little rubber o-ring there the only difference with the main gears that I can see is the gear wrench has more of a taper here where the Quinn is a 90 degree cut from the base right there to the actual drive 263 thousandths 263 thousandths the backing plates are the same the only difference once again is the material here it's thicker on the Quinn but the internals may be the same but the ratchets themselves not only are the handles and the slight differences just in design but the gear wrench is actually a little bit thinner the Quinn thickness here the Quinn is at roughly 491 thousandths and the gear wrench is 479 thousandths of an inch uh, same thing with the main shaft 460 thousandths 463 thousandths so internals being the same the the Quinn just has a little bit bulkier handle and isn't quite as thin but I do like the fact that there's more material in this back here not that that should affect the operation overall I think they're both fantastic options the gear wrench you can buy in many different uh, designs flex head locking flex head standard length non comfort grip comfort grip all of that whereas the Quinn these are the only options there's no flex head or non comfort grip as of right now we could see more later but as of right now, you just have kind of your standard length non-flex head 90 tooth, which is a nice upgrade. And if you ask me, even though it's the same gear, I don't know if it's just uh, the material here or the lubrication in here just needs to be cleaned out. But the Quinn feels a little bit smoother, actually. So very surprising on that, uh, even though I went into this knowing that these were basically going to be the same ratchet the gear wrench we're looking at 9.5 ounces and the Quinn is at 10.8 ounces so a little bit more weight on the Quinn not a whole lot nothing that you're gonna be able to hold in your hand and be able to tell actually as far as handle design I prefer the Quinn as far as how the head was designed I prefer the Quinn and I think for the price 
Quinn is definitely a fantastic option. The quarter inch is 20, the three eighths is 25, and I'm not sure about the half inch, maybe 30. If you have a Harbor for eight close to you, I wouldn't be afraid of buying a Quinn if you're interested in the Gear Wrench Comfort Grip 90 tooth ratchet. The Quinn is a very, very close, you know, almost identical tool with the same internals. Not afraid to say that the Quinn just has a little bit better finish to it, honestly. I already showed you that the Quinn was a little bit longer coming in at nine and a half. And the gear wrench coming in at just over nine and three eighths. Overall, I'll let you guys decide. Both are good options. And uh, I'm really happy that Quinn released a new ratchet design with a slimmer profile, non-quick release, a comfort grip, and a 90 tooth design. So we'll leave it at that. I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys have any questions that I may have forgot to cover, please feel free to drop it down in the comments. Other than that, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.